Chairman Barrasso, Ranking Member Carper, and distinguished members of the committee, thank you for holding today's committee hearing on modernizing our nation's infrastructure, inviting me to testify on behalf of the National Association of Counties. Infrastructure is important to our nation's 3,069 counties because we build and maintain 45 percent of the public roads, 40 percent of the bridges, and a third of the nation's transit and airports. My name is Cindy Bobbitt, and I serve as chair of the Grant County, Oklahoma Board of Commissioners. Grant County is rural and serves a population of approximately 4,500, and our local economy is largely based on agriculture and natural resources. We are responsible for 92 percent of over 1,900 public road miles in the county. We also have the most bridges or bridge life structures, over 3,500. Think about that. That's almost one bridge for every resident. While this infrastructure was ideal for transporting livestock and crops 70 years ago, it is inadequate to support today's heavier trucks, increased traffic, and higher operating speeds. And Grant County is not alone. Roughly two-thirds of the nation's counties are considered rural and face similar infrastructure challenges. Today, I will highlight some of these challenges and provide recommendations for ways Congress can help us tackle these issues. First, rural counties are facing numerous challenges that strain our local funding options. Forty-two states limit the ability for counties to raise or change property taxes, and only 12 states authorize us to collect our own local glass taxes. We often have to choose between investing in infrastructure or in funding our emergency services, courthouses, and health departments, just to name a few. Second, rural counties are experiencing increasing demands on our transportation infrastructure, which can no longer accommodate our agriculture and our energy needs. While local governments can do all we can, and we are trying to, according to the Federal Highway Administration, 40 percent of county roads are inadequate for current needs, and nearly half of our rural bridges are structurally deficient. Third, counties raise, are facing a uh, high cost of infrastructure projects. Based on the American Road and Transportation Builders Association, the cost of construction, materials, and labor for highway and bridge projects increased 44 percent between 2000 and 2013. Just a few years ago, in Grant County, we could budget for a road reconstruction project at last less than a half a million dollars. Today, that same project will cost about one million dollars per mile. With these challenges in mind, we have some recommendations to strengthen our nation's infrastructure. First, Congress should make more federal highway dollars available for locally owned infrastructure. County, roads, bridges, and highways serve as a lifeline for our citizens and are critical to the movement of freight and other goods and services to market. While more financing options are available in urban areas, rural areas do not often attract that same interest from the private sector. Now, more than ever, we need a strong federal, state, local partnership to remain competitive. Second, increase federal funding to bridges, particularly off-system bridges. It's vital. We must build for the future, not the present. Twenty years ago, we were building our bridges 18 to 20 feet wide. Today, we're building our bridges 24 to 26 feet wide. But that is not going to be wide enough to accommodate your equipment. According to USDOT, to eliminate the nation's bridge deficient backlog by 2028, we would need to invest $20 billion annually, well above the $12.8 billion invested today. Third, an increased focus on safety and high-risk rural roads will help our communities and help reduce the number of fatalities we see each year. And finally, we urge Congress to increase the role of counties in statewide planning and project selection processes. We recognize that there are more infrastructure needs than there are funds available. However, counties have the ability to provide input on potential projects and can help maximize the effectiveness of federal infrastructure dollars. In closing, as Congress considers ways to modernize our nation's infrastructures, counties stand ready to work with our federal partners to achieve our shared goals of strengthening transportation networks, improving public safety, and advancing our economic competitiveness. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee for the opportunity to testify today. Uh, thank you, Ms. Bobbitt. Thank you for your testimony.